Number 22. How will the graph of figure 9.12 change if the number of moles of gas in the sample used to determine the curve were doubled? Okie dokie. So here's that graph from figure 9.12. We just have to basically figure out what's going on with the graph if the number of moles were doubled. Now this comes back to the combined gas law. And that formula is this right here. I'll put it over here. Now, we have to basically keep the two uh, units there, right? This is a graph of volume and temp. So I'm just going to say maybe that we have volume and we have temp. And they want us to know, you know, what's going to happen if the number of moles were doubled. So we have to keep that in as well. So N represents the number of moles. Now, the only thing that they didn't care about was the pressure. So the best thing or the great thing about the combined gas law is that if you don't care about a, vol uh, um, a variable, you can get rid of it on both sides. So since this had nothing to do with pressure, I can get rid of it. Now, we just have to make a choice. Here we have three variables, but usually when we're doing manipulations, we can we have to use basically two variables. So it's your choice. You would get the same exact answer whether you focus in on the volume or the temperature. I think it's easier to work with volume because these numbers are smaller than the temperature, just kind of make the, 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 uh, the math easier. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the temperature constant, and that means that I won't focus on the temperature. So I'm going to basically focus on the volume and the number of moles. Okay. So, remember we went over uh, direct relationships and indirect relationships. V over N, basically X over Y, anything in the numerator and the denominator, that's always a direct relationship. So volume and the number of moles are in a direct relationship. So that means that if I increase my volume, I would increase my number of moles. If I drop my volume, the moles have to drop. So now, what's going on here? Well, they're saying that the number of moles is doubled, aka times 2. That means that I raised it up. So if I'm raising the number of moles times 2, what do you think I'm going to have to do to the volume? Yeah, I'm going to have to raise the volume times 2. And that's the really specific piece of information that we needed. So now, back to the graph. For all of the volume values, right, and we're going to take just a couple of them on this line, we have to times it by 2. So let's see. Um, I'm going to try to make this as easy as possible. Maybe we'll go, let's see, maybe we'll go to the 10 mark, right? So you see how here the 10 hits right here at this temperature. So now I have to raise this volume up. This would be 10 times 2, and that's 20. So what's going to happen is this mark at this temperature, because we're keeping the temperature the same, has to now move all the way up to 20. Do you see that? We could do the same thing basically for maybe this one right here. This is 5, and that was right here. 5 times 2 is 10, so we have to keep it constant. And I just have to go now up to the 10 mark. So the same thing here with maybe 15. It was over here. The temperature has to remain constant. But 15 times 2 is 30. So I'm just going to run all the way up here to get my new point. Somewhere around there. And there is the new graph. So I'm going to connect these points. So basically, this is if the moles were doubled.
So what's basically happening to the slope? The slope is increasing by a factor of two. You got it. If we just increase that number, right, I'm just timesing by two, the slope would be doubled. So basically the graph is just doubled. So you could say that volume will be doubled. Volume will be doubled if temp is constant. And then another way to say this is that the slope is also doubled as well. And that's it. So hopefully this helped. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel if you would like to help us out. We really do appreciate all you guys. And I hope you're doing well out there. All right. Let's keep studying hard. And I'll see you in later lessons. Bye-bye.